Yeah, so there are a few studies um, already that have shown um, that some probiotics may decrease um, seizures, but the they are one of them, the largest in humans, there was like an open label study. So it's difficult. I mean, you have to uh, take a placebo effect into account, but there are also some animal studies showing similar things. Uh, so there is a potential of a probiotic treatment, I think, but I think we need to first really understand the mechanisms behind to be able to select the right probiotics. And in the case of our study, where we showed those infant type bifidobacteria that are higher in the responders before the ketogenic diet, it may be preferential for the patient to just get rid of those bifidobacteria and replace them by more adult-like bifidobacteria, for example. Um, so there are a specific antibiotic treatment could be uh, helpful. It has also been shown in other observational studies that antibiotic treatment may change seizures in patients. Um, but um, antibiotic treatment is always a risk because it's often broad spectrum treatment and you um, impact many, many components of the microbiota. Um, so something more specific like phage treatment could be developed. It's been being tested in many other different concepts, not, not specifically for epilepsy or anything. Um, but with phages, you can much more directly target specific components of the gut microbiota without killing other closely related microbes. So this could also be an option in the future.